<laughs> oh, it goes. Oh, this is great. Oh, it's nice to be back on the 600. So yesterday I bought a new bike Obviously This isn't the R3 that I was on in my first couple videos This is my YZF R6 It's an 18 The only difference between the 18 and the 19 is The color of the side fairing This one's blue, the 19's black And this is the first time I've ridden this I've got 15 miles on it Got to do some break in on it. Just rolling in and out of the throttle so it gets those piston rings nice and seated. And I don't know where this road goes. I've never been on this road. <laughs> What? I don't care. I'm on my new bike. Hey Ram, I'm gonna go in front of you. So if you don't know me, I, I don't know how you're watching this video because only people that know me even know I do these. So for years I've been race only. I had a race bike and that's all I did was race. I didn't ride on the street. But it dawned on me that because of my work, I'm just not that able to race. I'm, I'm either not near a track, or I'm so busy at work I can't race, I don't have the time, or I'm not working and I'm not spending the money to race. So I, when I got to this current project I'm on here in El Paso, I was sitting in my RV looking at my bike and realized I hadn't raced in about a year and uh, that's not okay I needed to get on the bike so I turned it back to stock well not back to stock I put the the factory the street body work on it and I made a couple videos and decided all right R3s are fun to race if you're gonna race them or go on the track they're the best bike you can get within reason but they're a lot of fun but on the street they're not comfortable for me anyways I'm some people love them I didn't think it was comfortable and race suspension is definitely not comfortable on the street it was diff as fuck so I sold the, the R3 and bought myself an R6 and so far I've put six miles on this thing and I love it. It had 12 on it from the dealership. And I don't know what the speed limit is here. <laughs> but I'm keeping pace with that bike, you know, that truck that's behind me. 
Oh, 45. Hello. So I've heard people say that this bike feels really super aggressive stance for sitting on. Like the riding position feels super aggressive. And it's more aggressive than the ZX6R. I used to have one of those before I had my R3. Yeah, it's it's a little more racy than that, but I'm not uncomfortable. It it feels nice and relaxed and it, yeah, stretched out, but yeah, kind of like that. I can't touch the ground, but that's because I'm short. I can't touch the ground on any bike. I couldn't touch the ground on my R3 once I had the race body work on it. But that doesn't matter. I tell people this all the time. Once you're comfortable with riding. You touch the ground 1% of the time you're on the bike. Who gives a shit? Never lower a bike just so you can touch the ground. Oh God. <laughs> I love this. As much fun as the R3 was on the track, when you twist the throttle on the street, nothing really happened. I mean, it would, it would go faster, but it didn't do this. <laughs> I'm gonna giggle like an idiot. One thing I've noticed, I do need to get a quick shifter. I'm so used to having it that I've tried to shift a couple times and... Oh yeah, clutch. I did have to switch this to GP shift already because... I got... I'm so used to GP shift, I can't go back to standard. I have to I have to think about every shift and <laughs> that's not good when you got actual power on your bike. Like if I if I accidentally downshift when I'm accelerating on a 300, it revs out the engine. If I accidentally downshift on a 600, it stands up and I don't know how to do a wheelie. <laughs> that's I don't know why that's funny, but I don't know how to do a wheelie. I mean, I know in theory you go like this, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, this throttle is so smooth. Woo! <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, if you'll notice, the sparkle on my paint. When I got it home yesterday, the first thing I did was strip all that bullshit wax they put on it at the factory and at the dealership. They spray it down with their little shiny can. <laughs> it's like a quick detailer that they spray it with. And that's fine, it makes it look nice. But I stripped all that off, ceramic coated it, and then waxed the shit out of it. I can't stop looking at this bike. I didn't even ride it yesterday. I just sat there and stared at it. Love this bike. The first time I saw a 17 R6, when they first announced them, I told my wife that day, that's gonna be my next bike. And it is. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. You get these rings. Oh, I never noticed that. 6,000 on the tachometer is R6. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm gonna go to Cycle Gear. I told the guys there about it yesterday, so might as well bring it by. And I never know how to end these videos. Like, I feel like I should say something to end the video, but there's like 12 people watching these. Well, one or two at a time. I have, I think, 14 subscribers. <laughs> it's, it's fine, I don't care. But there's so few of us watching this video, I feel like I should just be like, well, later. Yeah, maybe I will. I smell hot dogs. Oh, state line barbecue. Hey, fucker. The fuck? Well, I guess it's not a ride if somebody doesn't try to kill me. Okay, even with stock suspension, these three ways are not smooth. Uh, oh well. I'm on an 
Carson X. <laughs> oh, I love my new bike. Stupid Prius. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong, I just like saying stupid Prius. Brakes on this thing are great. <laughs> Even the rear brake.